this. This is Zach's new 2023 Honda Accord. And we are about to take this car to the car wash, but this is the new Honda Accord. I was in a very bad car accident in Zach's old car. I was rear-ended, so obviously it wasn't my fault. But this is it, the new Honda Accord. And let me wipe off the lens just a little bit to try to make it look a little bit better. And we're going to take this thing out for a drive. I hope the quality of the stream is okay. I'm having some trouble with bandwidth here. Is this stream okay? Before I get started, I just want to make sure it's okay. Is the quality of the stream reasonably okay? Okay, all right. We're going to go ahead and start the engine. And I am cold, so we're going to turn on the heater and see how quick it warms up. So, yeah, this is inside the new Honda. It's got exactly 400 miles on it. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to see how long this heater takes to warm up. We're going to take it out for a drive. We're going to take it to the car wash. We're going to clean the car and fill it up with fuel. And let's see here. Hold on. We have gone 400 miles and we still, this car is getting 42 miles a gallon, y'all. So this is a beautiful car, y'all. Um, let me see how the mount works. I set the mount up for live streaming. And I think I'm going to leave it here for Zach's phone as well. Something doesn't feel right with it. Oh, it was not tightened up there. There we go. Now it's tight. So yeah, like I said, I got the mount set up for live streaming, which you can see the mount a little bit, which is not too bad. But you can at least see out the window. All I have to do is crop in just a little bit and the mount disappears. Brand new, 400 miles on it. And this car is already putting out heat like instantly, so... We're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing in the car wash. So, yeah. Let me, uh, it's kind of hard to see in here because i got my dark glasses on. Let me plug charger into the phone because it's got built-in USB-C ports. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. It's got built-in USB-C ports. This is a nice car, y'all. It is a really nice car. And I am in the market for a new car at some point. I'm considering this car or the Prius. I just want a heated steering wheel for my Raynaud syndrome. But let's plug the charger into the phone. And we're gonna take this on a little drive. Here we go. We're gonna take it to the car wash first. Yes, we are driving and when we get in some daylight, I'll show you a better look at the car. Camry hybrids aren't even available right now. Toyota is backlogged by like six months. We wanted a Prius. Where'd my vape go? Uh-oh. We wanted a Prius, but there is a six-month wait. But I do not regret the Accord at all. Uh, even uh, those of y'all who know Evan Stone, he's on the Elevate Tours team. He uh, knows a lot about cars, and he highly recommends Hondas. But this dashboard is really cool. I like the, uh, the way the phone is below my field of view, so it's not distracting. Now, obviously, I'm not going to read the chat while I'm driving Zach's brand new car. Because I don't want anything to happen in this car. It literally has 400 miles on it. Speaking of, a picture of his dashboard for him at 400 miles. Uh, no, it's backlit. Hopefully it won't turn over to 401 before we get to the stoplight. Just I'm really paranoid about driving a brand new car. I don't want anything to happen to it. It's too nice of a car. I mean, this is really a very nice car, y'all. Mm 
So yeah, we're gonna go the, we're not gonna take this thing through automatic because I don't want the paint damaged. But there we go. We're gonna get a picture of Zach's dash for him at 400 miles. There we go. All right, now we're gonna take this thing to the car wash that we normally go to, the, the hand one, and we're gonna get this car nice and clean. We're also gonna bang out the floor mat, vacuum it, so it's nice for him. But yeah, it, I mean, like I said, I love this dashboard. Look at this. It tells you all sorts of stuff. See, it's got the power flow, Right now, the engine's running. It's a nice car. Yep, all digital dash. So we'll, we'll take a look at the car in more detail when we get to the car wash. Or I'm gonna go McDon uh, not McDonald's, Chick-fil-A and get a grilled chicken sandwich since it's out in that part of town. It's a very quiet car. And like I said, I'm driving very carefully because this is his brand new car. I don't want anything to happen to it, so I'm I'm not gonna be reading the chat. Then we're gonna go over to my house and unbox some vintage exit signs. I got some vintage exit signs today. Uh, yeah, if I take the belt off, it won't shut up. But we also got new tires on the Avalon too. We got new tires on the Toyota Avalon and an alignment job and brakes and some suspension work. And it cost $1,800. My gosh, that just drained my savings account. I spent $1,800 on the Toyota, which is more than I paid for the car. If anyone wants to help out, feel free to. No, I'm just kidding. I can get my other phone on Bluetooth here. Let's see here. Bluetooth audio, it should be. Yep, yeah. let's see here. No, we don't want copyrighted music. It's already on there. We'll play some royalty-free music. I'm not going to mess with my phone while I'm driving. I mean, I can just pull up a playlist real quick since I have a red light. We'll play Epidemic Sound on this new Epic Radio. Epidemic. Here we go. Speaking of the radio, look at the radio. It's so nice. Let's see how the bass is. Sounds pretty good, but the bass is turned down, obviously. It's on flat. I don't know if this car is a subwoofer. This is so, oh, we got a green light. General settings, sound, basement, tr oh, it's got an equal, oh yeah, they, someone tinkered with it. There we go. Sounds pretty good. Home. It should have Apple CarPlay on here. Home. Even the Bluetooth audio is nice. This has Apple CarPlay, but I don't know how to get it on. I don't know how to get CarPlay on this. Let's see, you're back. Phone. Home. Ah, uh, I'll figure out why I stopped. We're going to the car wash right now though.
I know Apple CarPlay is on Wi-Fi. I almost like the Bluetooth audio better than the CarPlay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a brand new car. I love it. Look at the dashboard. It even shows the song on the dashboard. I have to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I don't want texts coming through. We're almost at the car wash. And we're gonna fill up the gas tank and see how much it costs because it's only like a 12 gallon tank and you can go over 400 miles on it. I love this car in every way. I absolutely love this car in every way. Got plenty of power too. Like I said, I'm not gonna buy a new car till the fall. I'll wait till the 2024s come out. Hopefully prices will be down by then. We only I mean out the door this car was thirty five thousand dollars. Out the door. Thirty five thousand for this car out the door. Which I consider reasonable for the class of car it is. It's a full size car, it's a hybrid, it's got everything except heated seats and steering wheel. It's a nice car. I'm going to make a, a detailed video of this car probably tomorrow. I mean, it might take me a little bit to get it up, but I'm going to shoot a car tour of this tomorrow. I want to figure out how to get Apple CarPlay to come up on this. It was up on his phone. I mean, maybe Wi-Fi has to be on my phone. I don't know. Maybe the car play can only be used with one phone at a time. I mean, I don't really need the car play. All right, people, like I said, I'm driving this car very carefully because it's a brand new $35,000 car. And there's the car wash up there on the right. So we're gonna wash the car. I am not filming in a bathroom, guys, so don't ask. I don't know how to get CarPlay to come up on this. I'll try to figure out the car wash. And eBay, oh, we got an elevator button from Hungary coming in. We are not going through an automatic car wash because I am not going to expose this car to the brushes. We are going to this baby right here. And this is actually an awesome car wash. It's got a, a dryer. It's really cool. This is actually a really cool car wash, guys. And another thing you need to sell, look, trailer's not permitted. Now, look at this. I think I brought this up last time I was here. Uh, look at this. This is hilarious. No trailers. No trailers with a O-R-S. It's hilarious. I want to try to figure out how to get car play. All right, here we are. Oh, a FedEx truck. Oh my gosh, look at this. A FedEx truck is in the car wash, y'all. Look at that. There's a FedEx truck in the car wash. Wow. It's just why I thought I've seen it all. I FedEx washes their stuff. I want to figure out how to get CarPlay on if it's even possible on this. Let's see here. See, like I said, it, it, it's 
CarPlay, this car has CarPlay. Let's see here, home. Apps. How do you get CarPlay on this thing, guys? I just can't figure it out. Home. This is, well, it's your music library. Home. Let me see if I've turned it on on my phone. Yeah, we're at the car wash right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to get Apple CarPlay on this thing. Let's see here. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't need CarPlay, but I just wonder why it comes up on Zach's phone. Oh, hi, Little Rocks Mom. I'm just trying to figure out why it comes up on Zach's phone. Sorry, my nose. But not my phone. Wi-Fi. I don't know. This, let's see your car. Uh, this is. Just, I just wish I knew how to put Apple CarPlay on. I know it goes over Wi-Fi. But I'm going to try to figure it out. There's CarPlay. Oh, press and hold this to start CarPlay setup. Here we go. Let's see here. It says, let's see. Let me try turning off Bluetooth and back on. There, let's see here. Home. Home. All right, let me try turning it back on now. All right, now let's see if CarPlay will work. For some reason, I can just get the... Okay, there, there's no option for CarPlay on this, guys. There's no option for CarPlay. And this is just burning me up because CarPlay worked on his car. All right, press and hold the, all right, hold. Okay, this, this is weird. I, I don't know how to do CarPlay. I don't know how to set it up. It works on Zach's phone. Maybe, maybe it'll only work with his phone. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. This is weird. Why well, won't CarPlay? I'll show you the equipment. Let's see here. Well, why won't CarPlay work? Does anyone in here know how to use CarPlay? Okay, there we go. Maybe that's why. Oh, uh, we never had to plug his phone into the USB port. Okay, let me try plugging it in. Oh, look at this. There we go. Okay, now it just totally killed it. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. There we go. It's up now, I plugged it in, it started working. Now, I should be able to unplug it.
and it still plays. Awesome. We didn't have to do that with Zach's phone. Go to Apple CarPlay. Yeah, it's going over Wi-Fi. All right, guys, we're gonna we got my CarPlay on this phone, so we're gonna get out and take a look at the car and then wash it. Since this is a waterproof phone, maybe I can bring y'all with me, or I can set the live stream on the stand and y'all can watch me. I need to see who's texting me because I need to mute that. Because I don't want text messages coming through. They are... Okay, there we go. I'm turning that off. I don't want text messages coming through. All right, now we're going to wash the car. We're going to take a look at it now that we're at the car wash. We can take a good look at it. We turn it off. All right, now maybe CarPlay will reconnect once I get on. This is Zach's brand new car and it's kind of dirty because we just took it on a trip. Look at this beautiful car. This is a beautiful car. So yeah, we're gonna take a picture of it with the FedEx truck. Yeah, this is the Honda Accord Hybrid Sport model. Honda Accord Hybrid Sport, and we are going to clean. I need to back it up a little bit because it's out of the bed. Uh, let me just back it up a little bit. We're going to take the floor mats out and everything and make it nice. Just going to back it up just a little bit. Yeah, I know the door is open. I'm just moving it a few inches. There we go. Set the parking brake. Neutral. Park. Turn it off. All right. So, yeah, this is the car, and we are going to start washing it. I may... Let's see here. I'm going to see if this works. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. We're going to set the stand up here. The phone may get wet, but that's fine because it's a waterproof phone. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I'm using this crappy stand since the Little Rock stand broke. But let's turn y'all around and set y'all here. And maybe y'all can watch me wash the car. There we go. All right, here we go. Not working. There we go.
Now we're going to use the bubble brush. Same bugs on the monkey. bugs on it. Hope y'all are enjoying this.
button every minute or two. Nice now. You want to make sure I have a bump off the window. You do, uh, I'll do some high pressure spokes. Rinse it one more time. We got wax on. Let's rinse it. Press the button. Where's 
good tire cleaner, wheel cleaner. Oh, there's the wheel cleaner. Doesn't sound like it's doing it. That's phone, wheel cleaner. There we go, clean the wheels off. I'm going to show you all something really cool here. And my phone is all fogged up because it got soaked. But this is basically a tornado in your hand. This right here is a tornado in your hand. Let's get the, let's straighten it out a little bit. I've never seen this as self-serve car wash. This is a tornado in your hand right here. Dryer, watch this. pressing the button I don't want to drag this on Zach's new car so we are just gonna let it air dry for the rest of the way actually I'll blow it on the hood but yeah this is a tornado in your hand pretty much that right there is a tornado a hot tornado car the next stage let me see if there's a working vacuum in this bay uh yes there is we're gonna vacuum the car 
just the probably the front seat because that's all we used the car kept locking and unlocking while i was washing it it was funny so here we go a nice clean car Gonna pull it out of the wash bay. Pull it far enough away to where I can open the doors. Yep, got all but two bugs off the window. Let me see if I can scrape those off. And we're gonna vacuum out the car and take care of the floor mats. Might have to use some glass cleaner. It's so hard to get bugs off a car, but I'm gonna show you all the car now that's out in the daylight. Look at this beautiful car, y'all. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous car. Beautiful car, 2023 Hon uh, Honda Accord. Amazing looking car. We're gonna get these floor mats clean for Zach. But yeah, this is what a 2023 Honda Accord looks like. Tomorrow I'll be shooting a detailed view, uh, detailed video of this car. You know, my car tours, which I don't get to do very often. But I wanna do this while it's still new. And what do y'all think about this automobile? Let's see, this is from where I touched it. Wipe that off, there we go. What do y'all think about this beautiful automobile? I love it. I love this car. Let me scoot the seat back so I can get the floor mats out. How do you get them out? Oh, wow, they lock in place with little twisties. Get the floor mats out. This car really doesn't need a lot of cleaning. Just vacuum a little bit. There we go, we're going to keep ahead of this. Got a little bit of crap out of this seat. Like I said, we've driven 400 miles with it.
feels like we're having 70 mile an hour winds here, guys. That's not gonna help keeping the car clean. I swear, guys, it feels like 70 mile an hour winds outside, but we got this car back in. But the back seat hadn't even been used yet. I like the way you feel that lock in place. But yeah, the car looks good. We'll clean the interior later. I might back it up and put a spot free rinse on it because it's spotting some. Yeah, the car is spotting some, so I want to put a spot free rinse on it. We'll back it back into the bay and do just that. I'm leaving y'all in the car here because we're just doing a quick I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the spot free rinse on it. I'll be right back, guys. Y'all can see me out the front. There guys, we put some spot free rinse on it. Now we're gonna drive it dry. We're going to drive it dry guys. Here we go. Let's see if my phone connects back now. Go to device list. 
Apple CarPlay, there we go, connecting. Here we go. We're gonna go Chick-fil-A now. Oop. There we go, we got the part. This is really cool how you exit this car wash too. Or we got the most of the bugs off the windshield. You have to kind of like hit this gate head on to get out. And it lets right out on Orange Avenue. Watch this, see? It's called Car Lovers. And getting out on Orange Avenue is going to be a pain in the dairy air. But we're going Chick-fil-A now. All right, here we go. We're going to definitely drive this car dry it accelerates really good we'll take it out 460 just a little bit to get up to highway speed to dry off the car I don't think any water will be able to stay on the car at 70 miles an hour So we're going on a little bit of a drive, not far though. Don't want to get a speeding ticket in a brand new car. Here's a song we recognize. Look at all the water just blowing off the car. It is, it is blowing off. So make sure the sunroof didn't leak. No, it didn't. Northwest. We'll be going to Chick-fil-A very shortly, guys. This is the name of the song. Thank you for the five bucks, Johnny. Thank you. Now, I need to buy a new car now. I just don't want no one else to rear end me. Raspy, how you doing? That's why my Patreon's right there. So what do y'all think about this car? I'm gonna make a full video about this car probably tomorrow. What do y'all think about it? I love it. It's a lot better than Hyundai. Although sadly, I may be stuck buying another Hyundai because the Hyundai Sonata and the Toyota Prius are the only hybrid cars available with heated steering wheels. I'm not a car expert by any means, but I do know a little bit about them. I would say Evan Stone is more of the car expert because he works in a car lot. Oh, thank you for being a member for three months. Thank you, Kathy, you're wonderful. We just wanna get this up to speed a little bit. Once we get on the highway, we're just gonna drive a couple miles just to blow the water off it so it doesn't spot. Problem is new cars are so aerodynamic. There's Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is actually not in Roanoke. I think it's in Botetourt County. We're in Botetourt County right now. We're no longer in Roanoke, but we still have these like three or four more traffic lights to deal with. We're gonna fill it up with gas lastly. We'll do that in Vinton probably.
Now a cop usually sits down here, so we're gonna be careful through here. Once we get past this, the next, I think two lights, it goes up to 60. We'll drive down to where the food line is and turn around and go back to Roanoke. So I'm not gonna put unnecessary miles on Zach's new car. I just want to get the car up to highway speed so I can dry, uh, dry it off. We'll also detail the dashboard a little bit. After the next light, it goes up to 60. We're still in 45, but we'll go up to 60 here in a minute. If you keep going this way, you'll end up in Lynchburg and Norfolk. This road goes to Lynchburg and Norfolk. All right, we're gonna get up to speed here in just a second. It's 60 up there, so hopefully we won't, we won't hit any bugs. Because I just want to drive. The car is almost dry. We're just going to go up here about a mile and turn around. But everyone's dilly down. It's 60 miles an hour and we're going 45. You'll see the 60 mile an hour speed sign right there. Now people are picking it up. We're going 65 miles an hour right now and you can barely even feel the speed. I think that's about as dry as we're going to get the car. So we're going to go up here and turn around and go back to Roanoke or Chick-fil-A. I love this car though. I really do. It drives so nice. We'll speed up a little bit. We'll get up to about 75 here. There we go. We're up to 80. Now we'll slow it down. That should have dried the car off. quick burst of speed at 80 miles an hour and we'll turn around to the next light because that's where the food line is we try bursting up to 80 miles an hour again just to blow off the car 80 mile an hour winds watch how fast it accelerates here we go there we go that's some acceleration for you Zach loves the car. All right, we're gonna turn around here and head back to Roanoke. I think the car is as dry as it's gonna get, and I actually need to turn off the heater because I'm actually getting hot. It's been, I, I rarely get hot. All right, I need to get in that turn lane to turn around, and then we're gonna go back to Roanoke. Again, I'm sorry if I'm not reading the chat. I'm not gonna drive distracted in, in Zach's brand new car. We're going to head back to uh, Chick-fil-A now and eat. Here we go. Watch the acceleration. Here we go. By the way, that's fake automatic transmission sounds being piped into the car because it is a hybrid. Those sounds you're hearing are fake. It, it acts like it has an automatic when it really doesn't. It's a hybrid. But you can see how right now the, 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 the we're going 50 miles an hour and the engine's not running. 60 miles an hour with it says EV. See the engine is not even running. We're going 60 miles an hour with no engine running. That is just so cool.
60 miles an hour and the engine still hasn't kicked on you. This car is so fuel efficient. We're averaging 42 miles a gallon on this tank. We're gonna try to get some of those bugs off the window with glass cleaner, and then we're gonna armor all the dashboard, and then we're gonna put the car away. Another thing, this car will drive itself. See, look, I'm not, my hands are not on the wheel, and it has the thing where it's moving the steering wheel. See, it keeps itself in lane. So you can see the steering wheel subtly moving. There, I put my hand back on the wheel now. I just hope no one plows in the back of me because I'm stopped on top of a hill. I mean, I'm a little bit paranoid about being rear-ended after I was rear-ended at 100 miles an hour. Of course, I was going 80, so it was only about a 20 mile an hour impact. Well, my hands have been on the wheel. I was just demonstrating the feature. This car will drive. It'll only do it for, like I said, you have to touch the wheel every 30 seconds or else it'll knock the feature off and start screaming at you. This car play is wireless. This car has a wireless car play. It is on CarPlay and my phone is in my pocket. So yeah, their wireless CarPlay is the thing. It goes over Wi-Fi and I'm gonna tell you something. It drains your phone battery and gets your phone warm. Wireless CarPlay does drain your phone battery, just so you know. There, the car is mostly dry. It's spotted a little bit, but I guess it's impossible to get totally spot free at a car wash. But yeah, the lane assist thing is really nice driving down the highway. This car, I'm less tired after driving. It's just such a comfortable car. Like I said, the only gripes I have and the only thing stopping me from buying this is a heated steering wheel. With my Raynaud's, I have to have a heated steering wheel and that limits me to two cars, the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid or the Toyota Prius Hybrid. Those are the only hybrid cars in my price point that I can buy. My Raynaud syndrome is stopping me from enjoying like a bunch of other cars because a heated steering wheel is a need for me. It's not a want. And I don't need it this time of year, obviously, but it's just a shame. I don't want to buy another Hyundai, but I might be forced to buy a Hyundai just because the Honda doesn't have a feature I need. And there's a six month wait list for Priuses. First thing we're gonna do when we get to Chick-fil-A is use the bathroom. And you know, the rule about streaming the stream, so I'm gonna, you're gonna buffer for about a minute when we get here, because I'm going to the bathroom and I'm going to pause the stream. We have 71 miles away. You can get almost 500 miles on 12 gallons. Listen, it sounds like a it sounds like a UFO or someone singing. That's pretty cool. I'll parallel park here. Oh, well, there's another Honda Accord right in front of us. Same car as this. It's louder when you're reversing. But look at this backup camera, y'all. It has three options. And you can see, look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna go inside and eat. Yeah, I need to turn the car off. It's so quiet, you can't even tell it's running because it's a hybrid. Yeah, 
But yeah, this is the interior of the car. There's the steering wheel. I'll let y'all hear the horn real quick. There, I'm not gonna blow it long. Very nice automobile, a very fine car. The back seat is just like my Avalon and to lock the doors, just touch that and it's locked. Yeah, look at this car. This is just gorgeous. And a little spotted, but that's okay. That is the car. Now we're gonna go in Chick-fil-A here. And since I don't wanna stream the stream, you know what the rule is. Don't leave the, oh, I, I forgot my wallet. I hope it's in the, I hope it's in the car. And to open the door, I have the key in my pocket. Just pull on the door handle. There's my wallet. So yeah, uh, I, I, I don't really make noises in the bathroom anymore. Ever since I've gotten healthy, a lot of my pooping problems have gone away and I just, I don't really make noises in the bathroom anymore. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of the stomach problems I used to have and I'll be right back. We're gonna go back here and find a table in the back or it can just be us. I think we'll sit back here. Look at this. I wonder how many of these get stolen. Right well, now we're gonna order our food here. Got the Chick-fil-A app coming out. I'm on Chick-fil-A's Wi-Fi, so let me get on LTE. LTE's been really wonky lately. So we're going to order our food on the app. After I do a quick speed test here. Look, look at this. See, something is wrong with this phone. My, I mean, I am, like I said, I should not be, unless it's the speed test app that's broken but it is getting less than a megabit a second. I almost think the phone is broken. Yeah, because I, I mean, like I said, I, I mean, this live stream is going just fine. I mean, I guess it is. Yeah, like, look at that. 0 0.3. Let, let me see if I can even watch the live stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, is it the network or my actual phone, the finals in the phone that are defective? I'm wondering if the finals are going bad in the phone. The finals are the transmission circuitry. Because it's working fine on my Pro Max. Yeah, see, look, I can't even get load. Let me go to airplane mode and back. I'm wondering if the finals are bad in the phone. The it's only about two months old. I mean, the finals should not be going bad in it. Oh, now it's working. I went to air, oh, it's on the Wi-Fi, that's why. I'm wondering if the finals for the LTE are bad. Because it's probably got different finals for the Wi-Fi and different finals for the LTE. But I have just had nothing but trouble on LTE, so it makes me... If anyone knows anything about phones... Oh, look at this. I'm wondering if the finals for the LTE are bad. It's working fine. Different finals for the Wi-Fi. Different finals. Like I'm, I'm willing to think, I'm willing to bet the finals in my phone are bad. Even at four bars of LTE, it'll do this. But this phone is amazingly fast and they're both on the same network, same plan.
It won't even do the upload. Look. There it goes. Like I said, I think I have bad finals. I'm probably going to have to exchange the phone. T-Mobile sucks. And so is AT&T. I'm going to Google to see if you can tell if the finals are going bad in your phone. Pick up at restaurant. Okay, nearest. I guess I haven't eaten here in a while because it's not showing up. Dine in. 575 calories, grilled chicken nuggets. This is so damned expensive here. It's just ridiculous. This is why I don't eat here very much. And we're probably going to get copyright claimed because there's music playing loud. Let's see here. I guess I'll get it. $16 is ridiculous for a fast food meal. Seventeen seventy. I mean, look, I almost don't want to eat after that. That's just, that's ridiculous. That's like $140 a week if you eat here every day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be more than $6. It shouldn't be more than six bucks. I can go to McDonald's and eat for five bucks. Sprint was terrible. I had them. Estimated three to six minute wait. That's fine. $17 for homophobic chicken. The Loves and Stant is actually pretty nice. Those of y'all who follow me on Google Maps, I, I pretty much review everywhere I go. Singular was before AT&T. See, look at this. This is how bad it is. I can't even get service here, and I have two bars. I might have to message uh, Visible Wireless, because I, I might try just swapping the SIM cards and seeing if I still have the problem. I'm gonna be seeing Jason next month. I'm excited. Oh, I hope I asked for my barbecue sauces. Let me look at my calories here real quick. No, it's Zach's car. It's not my car. <laughs> it doesn't show the calories on the order screen. Once it comes out, it probably will. It says estimated wait three to six members, three to six minutes. Oh, it's here. 
Thank you so much. Yes, if you need anything, you let us know. All right, you have a nice day. I will say this, the food really, oh, you know why? The internet is so bad it hadn't been able to update. But we got the grilled chicken nuggets. And my soup. Let me take a picture of it for my review. Like I said, the service here is great. The, not the cell phone service, but the actual service. I just need to find out how many calories I'm eating. How, how many steps? I think it was 570. Red status, what does that mean? Five seventy five calories. I'll just say six hundred. Here we go. Today's gonna to be a lower calorie day. There we go. Now it's time to enjoy. You know what? They didn't bring me a fork. They're usually pretty good about that. Chick-fil-A is usually pretty good about bringing that. Jay's on, awesome. Mm. We're gonna run by the house and get something real quick. Since we're in this neighborhood. Me and Zach recently took a hike up a mountain called Old Rag. It was really good. I burned about 600 calories during the hike. I still have to go out today, so I'll be doing that later. Mmm. They're expensive, but they're good. Not worth 16 bucks, though. Or 17, I'm sorry. I'm sure I'm paying more because they're grilled. We can go to Bush Gardens. Um, because some of the rides weren't open. That's a great calorie burn, though. Hmm. But yeah, um, for the past almost two months, I've been maintaining between 135 and 140. I mean, my weight loss journey is over. Now my next goal start running marathons. The furthest I've won, run at one time was seven and a half miles. I ran from the apartment, past the Tanglewood Mall, and back to the apartment. The Tanglewood Mall is all the way out in the county. Mm. Now the soup. I'll probably burn my mouth. Well, I guess I'm not going to lie. The food at Chick-fil-A is amazing. But I don't think it's worth the price, though. And again, I'm probably paying a premium for the healthy options. I'm sure I could get like a chicken sandwich and fries here. Oh, I don't want to fall again. I don't want to fall again. I'm still not over the first fall. Oh, hmm. It's too darn hot. But it's better than being cold, I guess. I still have to blow...
Unfortunately, there's no elliptical workouts on the Apple Fitness. You just have to do the, uh, I mean, there's an option for it to record your calories, but there's no like coaching. There's none with coaching like there is for walking, running, yoga, and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. If I ever drove a truck again, I would do exactly what Big Rig Travels is doing. I know who he is. He's cool. Hey, dear, good seeing you. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't follow again. I haven't, I've only had a couple close calls, but. The, the worst time to fall would be during an all out intensity. When I'm running along about 12 miles an hour, hitting the ground at 12 miles an hour is going to hurt. But like I said, I haven't ran today yet, so I'll probably run. I'm going to have to wait at least 30 minutes. I don't like running on a full stomach. It's a lot easier to run on an empty stomach. I'll just start cramping if I run after, run after I eat. How do I know? I've done it before. Yeah, I got some. Uh, I got some shoelace tighteners. About to tell you, a shoe coming untied just totally ruins my workout. Because when I stop to tie it, I mean, it, my heart rate goes back down and everything. It just totally ruins the vibe. I like the blue. I honestly like his color, or red, or yellow. You know the sad thing is, I'd say about a year ago, I'd probably be sitting here on a live stream shoving burgers and fries in my mouth. Like a lot, not, not just like a normal portion, but like a lot. Jay is on. I can only do, I, I can, like I said, 12, I mean, I can only push myself up to about 12 and that, I can only hold that for about 20 or 30 seconds. But I have been on a treadmill in about three or four weeks because I, I go outside. Mm. I don't really have access to a swimming pool. Yes, the McDonald's kids meal is actually an adult portion. You are correct. I'm going to do more Diet Coke. I'll be right back. I could probably go in with a cup of soup because I'm getting full. Mm. Swimming is really good. But I have not done a machine workout in like three or four weeks. All my exercising has been outside. Mm. Oh, swimming is excellent cardio. Swimming is excellent cardio. is so good for your heart now where'd my other iphone go oh it's right there 
talking to the napkins. I don't want to leave behind. Mm. Mm. Zach will not wear a watch. Zach is not really like obese or anything. He's just kind of out of shape. Mm. Like he'll walk and stuff. Yes, swimming can help lose weight, but I don't think you need to lose any weight, Jim. <laughs> I have, like I said, I don't go to Bristol anymore, but I am so glad we're out of that hotel. That hotel went to hell after Birdie died. Bug infestations. Overworking the employees. Mmm. Mm. All right, well, we're going to run by my house and go back to the apartment. And then I need to go exercise. I'm going to enjoy my free refills, though. Oh, up off Peters Creek Road. Oh, we got the gas in Zach's car. There is a new big gulp coming. Maybe we'll drive up there and pick one up on live stream. So, oh crap, I'm almost, uh-oh, this is not good. My vape juice is empty. I'm going to throw this, let me get every last drop out of this. 122.5, what's your height? How tall are you? How tall are you, Jim? 122.5, you might be underweight. I mean... For me, I'd be underweight. But if you're shorter than me, you might be at a normal weight. Just let me know what your height is, Jim, and I'll tell you if you're at a good weight. That's a healthy weight. Five, seven, 123 pounds. That's, that's healthy. That's healthy. I mean, I know you're shorter than me, Jim, but what's your exact height? And I'll tell you. Yeah, that that's a little, okay, five. Yeah, you're at a healthy weight, Jim. You're at a very healthy weight. Very healthy weight. Six foot, 148, you might be slightly underweight. I'm not like severely, but you might be slightly underweight. Yeah, you're at a healthy weight. You're right where you need to be, Jim. You're at a healthy weight. I'm at the bottom end of a healthy weight. If I lose 10 more pounds, I'll be underweight. But the good news is, and that's one thing, I'm getting to enjoy eating again because I'm not trying to lose weight. But we are going to get out of here. And we are going 5'7", 145. That's healthy. That's normal. Even, okay, my normal weight, I'm 5'9". My normal weight is between 125 and 169. I'm five foot nine and I weigh 138 pounds. So I'm on the low end of a normal weight. My normal weight is 125 to 169. I would assume that someone like Jim's weight, like five four, normal weight would be probably between like 105 and 140, I would guess. Where's the trash can? Do you not have a trash can here? Oh, there it is. It's over there. Like I said, you are definitely the healthy weight, Jim. Can I top up one more time before I go? Diet Coke, please. Ugh, I'm leaving here too full. Should have got the cup instead of the bowl. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks again.
yeah, 120, let's see here. There, like I said, I'm, I'm at the lower end of my recommended BMI. You're probably, I guess, would be considered slightly overweight, Jay. I would, when I started this journey, I was obese. I went from obese to overweight to normal. God, I love this car. I wish this was my car. But like I said, the, I mean, I'm not going to pour the big gulp in the car because I don't want to risk spilling in here. <clears throat> but we are going to go up to the, yep, that's a Honda. We're going to make the big gulp outside the car out of respect for Zach's car. That's another thing. I don't care if it's a brand new car or a piece of crap like Zach's old Veloster. If it's not my car, I'm gonna treat it better than I would treat my own. I mean, I was always, whenever I drive somebody else's car, I return it with a full tank of gas. Um, I make sure it's clean. I try to treat it better than mine. I am, f uh, I, I mean, I've been 5'9 ever since I was probably like 15 or 16. But um, what was I going to say? We're going to go up to Peter's Creek Road 7-Eleven where I got something to show you guys. I've never seen this before and it's made in USA. Ready to go? Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Here, I got to get the parking brake off. And we'll fill it up with gas up there. Let me get this on. Okay, it shows me seat belted. It detects seat belts in the back seat too. Oh, and that's one thing. When I'm in a new car, I never have issues buckling up. And I'm starting to get the habit of it more. But like I said, I mean, the new car reminds me to buckle up. I mean, I'm pretty much going by the government's, you know, weight recommendations for, and this, this is so steep, I don't want to curb the tire, for like your BMI versus your weight. My BMI is 20.3 right now. 20.3 is my BMI right now. Well, oh, let's listen to Apple. Is that truck out stop? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it doesn't. My cardio fitness, my cardio fitness VO2 max is 44.3. Gosh, there's already pollen getting on the car and I just washed it. No wonder Zach's allergy is so bad. My cardio fitness is 44.3. All right, here, I'll show you in a second. I'm stopping. This is the song, Jim. That's the name of the song, and it's off Epidemic Sound. I pay like $100 a year for it. Yeah, I, thankfully I don't have pollen allergies, but it's already getting on the hood of the car. I just washed the car and there's already pollen getting on the car. Mm -hmm. 
But we're going to buy a new big gulp. Actually, we're going to buy two of them. One for my collection. And if you guys like this cup, I might buy a third one to give away. Whoa. I'm really kind of paranoid about people behind me since I got rear-ended at a high rate speed. I guess I'm having a little bit of PTSD from my accident. Because, like I said, I have never been in an at-fault accident. And up until I got the Cadillac, I never really, I mean, like I said, I'm glad for once that crappy Veloster, that car was terrible. Zach needed a new car, bad. But if we all, if, if that had been my Toyota, I would have been devastated. I would have been devastated. And that's why, I mean, I don't drive the Toyota very much. Sentiment. I mean, I am sentimentally attached to Jacob's Toyota. I wanted to keep that car for the rest of my life. I just, I, I know it'll probably die someday, but I'm doing everything I can to preserve that car. I try to, like I said, I'll drive it for about a week every month because I know letting a car sit is bad, but I do drive it. I just don't drive it very often. And I have to go down to Newport News Friday to go to court for, to, I'm on the state's side, I guess, to testify against that guy that hit me. Normally I wouldn't go after someone like this, but he almost killed me. He almost killed me and I, I want him held accountable. He got a charge for reckless driving. And I don't remember what the cop said. Something about manslaughter or murder. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer like Zach is. But. I mean, I don't really. I'm, I don't I don't feel. I don't know if I'm. I don't know. Maybe he does need to go to jail for a while. I don't know. But. That's one of the few times I think that speeding actually probably saved my life. If I had been going slower, it would have been a worse impact, but I was going about 80 when I got hit. So in reality, it was only a 20 to 30 mile an hour impact. Just think if I had been going like 60 or something, and he hit me at a hundred, it would have been a lot worse. You can, okay, gum it. You can, you can see the pollen. My gosh, it's foggy from the pollen. Day gum it. Why is the pollen so bad this year? It's getting all over the car. I mean, look at the hood. I don't know if you can see on live stream. The hood is turning yellow. I just washed the car and it's turning yellow. I'm like, Zach, I tried to clean your car, but the pollen is so freaking bad. We are going to buy two big gold cups. And if y'all like this cup, I'll go back and buy another one for a giveaway. Because we haven't done a giveaway in a little bit. Well, one of the winners of my giveaway, their item got returned to sender and I can't get hold of them. So... We may be giving away another elevator button and autographed diesel doocy. Oh, listen to this song. This one's funny. That's the name of it. Pie. That's all it says. It's got a good bass line to it, though. Pie. 
All right, I don't want to hear bake that pie over and over again. That's an old one. Oh, this is a good one. There you go, Jim, that's the name of it. And if you like any of these songs, Jim, text me a list and I'll, I'll text you the MP3s so that you can enjoy them on your phone. So I know Jim Lee is asking me the names of the songs a lot. If you hear a song you like, text me the name of it and I will send you the MP3. I can send an MP3 over text so you can enjoy it on your phone in full quality. But yeah, Jim, since you have my number and stuff, if I play a song you like, I'll happily send you the MP3 so you can enjoy the, the song on your computer and your phone. This is a short song. It's only a minute long. Wow. But yeah, if you if you like some of the songs I play, Jim, just let me know the names of them and I will send you the file so you can enjoy it anytime you want on your cell phone or on your computer or on a boom box or whatever. I listen to all different genres here. I think I can send you an MP3. I'll have to see. I mean, the thing is, if you subscribe to Epidemic Sound, it's $15 a month or $100 a year for Epidemic Sound. And I like their music better than the stock music library. If you're not a subscriber, all they'll do is they'll copyright claim your video. They just will make it through. You can use their music without paying, but you won't be able to make money off your videos. We're going to buy a big gulp cup off Peters Creek Road and put gas in the little man's car. Oh my gosh, another Honda Accord. Like I said, I'll be honest, Evan Stone, yes, Evan, if you're listening to this, I'm giving you credit. You're part of the reason I love Honda Accords. I've always loved Honda. All right, we're going to floor it just to stretch her legs. And listen to the fake automatic transmission sound being pumped into the car. That's a fake automatic transmission sound, by the way. It's a hybrid. It doesn't even have a transmission. This is a good one, it's a country song. But yeah, any song you like, even like if you like some of my copyrighted music, I'll send it to you, Jim. I love sharing music with people. Oh, well, here, this one, we're gonna crank this on this new radio and see how it sounds. Cause guess what time it is to everybody? Time. There's Diesel Ducey. Now this area right here, you don't want to go over 60 miles an hour. The speed limit is 55 here. The police, this is the only place in Roanoke where the speed limit is enforced. The state police, if you're going 60, you'll get pulled over up here. This is just a stock sound system. This is not the premium one. It sounds decent. If you're ever visiting Roanoke and you're on 581 and you're driving, your parents are driving, 
between the Valley View Mall and Interstate 81, do not go over 60 miles an hour. They will pull you over if they're running radar. They'll let you slide up to 60. But if you're going over 60, they're gonna get you. They are super strict with the speed limit on this road. And there's really no need because there's never really any bad accidents on this road. This is not like a dangerous road. Maybe it's because everyone's going the speed limit. Because look, even this car next to me, everyone goes the speed limit on this road. I'm going 56 miles an hour now the cruise set because I will not speed on 581. You notice how no one's passing us? Everyone knows this is a speed trap through here. Now this 7-Eleven is the only place I've ever seen this big gold cup. And it's made in the USA, it's plastic. It's not like metal. I'm wondering how long it'll keep the drink cold, but we're going to experiment with it. I got to keep it on the time because I got about an hour before I got to pick up Zach. But yeah, once you get past Peters Creek Road, you're pretty much at the interstate. But there's like through here. Like, see, like, I'm going 55. These cars are maybe going 60. No one flies on this road because you will get pulled over. I've seen up to five cars pulled over at the same time on this stretch. There's no cops out right now, but the state police are the ones that enforce the speed on this road, not city. Zach bought the car, and we're actually going to be going by the dealer where we bought the car. I think you guys were on a live stream with me when I actually went to look at this car. I wonder if the red one is still on the sales floor. I'd like to go see the sales lady and just tell her how happy I am with the car. I might go by there real quick. I just want to go in there real quick and tell them how happy I am with the car. I'll tell you how happy I'm with the car. <laughs> I think her name was Rachel, the sales lady. If you ever want to, okay, if you're ever in Roanoke and you want to buy a new Honda, buy it from Priority Honda and ask for Rachel as the clerk, the, the salesperson. Now, I don't really have, th this is a dangerous merge right here. This is a very dangerous merge. I hate this. I'm going to have to come to stop because, let's see, I'm going to floor it. As soon as that pickup truck goes by, here we go. Hang on, guys. That is a dangerous merge right there. Very dangerous. There's no acceleration lane, and the speed limit is like 45 on this road, and everyone flies on this because we're. Th this is a Roanoke City street and there's no traffic enforcement. Roanoke does not enforce traffic laws. People drive like maniacs. I, mean, I, I kind of want to go back in the dealer and see if I can find Rachel. I'll do it some other time. We're just going to get gas and a big gold. Over to the left is where we bought the car. You'll see the Honda dealer in the left side of your screen. I'm just gonna buy one big gulp. Oh no, I might buy two. Okay, there's the Honda dealer. That's where we bought the car. I'm seeing if that red Accord hybrid is still, yep, it's still there. The, the red one is still there. Yep, it's still there. Oh, they're getting more cars in, it looks like. This 7-Eleven right here has a big gulp cup I've never seen before. We're gonna put gas in the car, and then we're gonna go in the 7-Eleven and buy the big gulp cup and fill it up. $3.53 a gallon, good gosh. Let's see how much it costs to fill up this car. 
Look at the gas tank. We have, I'm gonna show you, we have driven 421 miles. Let's reset it, 41 miles a gallon. Reset. Uh, where's the trip meter on the next one? There we go. Reset. 420 miles, all right? I'm gonna let someone figure out my gas mileage for me here. Cool thing is the gas cap automatically locks. The gas cap automatically locks when you lock the car. Cause see, if you lock the car, this thing locks and you cannot get into the gas tank. It's so nice. But like I said, anytime me and Zach take a trip, when we use his car, I always pay for the gas. By the way, this is a great credit card, 2% cash back. Now, if anyone wants to make money off credit cards, I can help you do that. But it says, insert the card again. I think my magnetic stripe might be bad. There it goes, it took it. Oh, I gotta do my zip code on the keypad, hold on. Although all y'all know my zip code if you know my PO box. All right, we don't wanna get gasoline. Look at this, you just stick that in. No gas cap either. All right, let's see here. Well, look at this. Someone put graffiti on the gas pump. Dad, bod. Keep in mind, we went 421 miles on whatever we're putting in this tank. It claims to be 42 miles a gallon, but we'll see. This is a slow gas pump. It's hard to see the thing because of the glare. Yep, we're getting over 40 miles a gallon. This wind is so strong, I can barely stand it. So yeah, right at, yeah, we're getting over 40 miles a gallon. Let's try to get up to $38. There we go. All right, we went 420 miles, 420 miles on that. So if someone can figure out the fuel economy, let me know. We went 420 miles on that. Now we're going to buy a big gun. I gotta show y'all something here. All right, guys, here is the big gulp cup I was talking about. Look at this 34 ounces. And the best part about this cup, it was made in the USA. So. We are going to purchase this big gold cup right here. So yeah. So 
So this is the new Big Gulp Cup. And if you guys like, they only have a few of them, look. Actually, they have about, I don't think they're gonna sell out in the next few days, but they only make it in red. It's got a handle on it. And it is made in the USA. I mean, let me, I'm trying to see what company it's by. Let me turn around. I can't really see the manufacturer of it, but it is made in the USA. So, obviously being plastic, I don't think it's going to keep the drink cold as long, but we're still going to try it. We're going to buy it, and we're going to try it. Civic is a great car. There's no price on it either, so it may be five bucks, it may be 30, who knows. But this does look like a good cup. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering how long the handle's gonna stay on it. But it's made in America, so I, the fact that it was made in USA, I, I feel it's of a higher quality than a Chinese one or something. Yes, the Honda has a remote start. I'm going to buy this cup. Do I get to fill it up when I buy it? I think so. Okay, cool. Oh, that's, that's a good price. If you get any slip from the inside, just give me. Okay, I will. Yeah. Let me hit the continue button. I, I think it's refill or something like that. All right. All right, because I know most of these, the first fill is free. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, most of the time. Then after that, you have to pay for them. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Just check the sleep inside. This thing was only five bucks. Five bucks, y'all. That is a good price. But I'm going to take a picture filling it up for the Google review. So I'm going to set y'all down, and I'll be right back. We're going to open it up right here on camera. Sorry, we dropped. It does not come with a straw, but I can put a straw in it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and take a picture. Here we are getting our first fill of it. So we are going to see how well this cup holds up. Hopefully the logo doesn't rub off. But there we go. We bought a new Big Gulp cup. You know what? We're going to buy another one for my collection. Ooh, I got to rotate. Yeah. It scratches easy, but that's all right. It's fine. We're gonna buy another one for my collection. Let me see here. Let me look at the one I'm buying for my collection, make sure it's good. This is what I'm gonna buy for my collection. So yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna see how well this thing does, but we're buying one more. This one right here will stay in the collection. It's not going to be used. But yeah, made in USA. That's something you rarely see. There we go. So we're buying this one for the collection. They're only five bucks. They're only five bucks. If y'all want me to, I'm going to see how the cup does. And if it does well, I'll do a giveaway. If 
of his plastic. Mm. It's one liter, wow. It's big, look at it. very busy y'all but we're gonna head back home after this let's see here I'm actually gonna do this later let me find this one has a scratch on it We will come back here later. But yeah. There was nothing in here. No paper. Hey, you have a nice day. The other one had a scratch on it, and I don't want to wait in line again, so we will come back up here later. But like I said, this one, it's got a little, they're, they're all a little bit scuffed, but we're going to see how this does. We're going to see how this holds up in time. So there it is, the new big gold cup. It's got some scratches on it from the factory. It's American made though, so. Zach let me take some pictures of the car's interior. So we're gonna do that, but I need to rotate this lid. I need to rotate this lid. Ow, the door just shut on my hand. All right, we're going to uh, rotate this lid around. Five bucks, this is a $5 cup. But yeah, it's a big gulp. I got it. First sip on it, too. So let me make this car look nice. And I'm going to take some pictures of the interior of it. I'll turn it on so the dashboard's lit up. My gosh, why is it so windy here, y'all? I'm going to take one from the back seat. So windy, I can't even open the car door. I hate this wind. Let me take the phone off the mount because I don't need the cell phone in there. Here we go. Actually, this, this looks good right here. Here's some pictures of the interior. I want to put it on home. How'd that happen? That's weird. Let's see here. Let's get a wide angle shot of the whole car, the cabin. Now just the cockpit. Now we'll take a picture of the back seat for him. Zach wants some pictures of his car. Here's a passenger cabin. Alright, now we're going to head back home. There we go. Alright, we got the car washed, filled up with gas. Oh, 
take the parking brake off. I always use the parking brake. So far, this seems to be doing a good job keeping my drink cold. All right, we got everything here. The car is clean, gassed up. Let me text Zach a picture of his full thing. All right, now we're going back toward the apartment. We're plugging the phone in. Oh, we are in the house. We're going to go by there in a minute. I'm gonna go and tell them how happy I'm with the car. This light is terrible. <clears throat> uh -uh. I'm keeping the Hyundai for a while. I mean, I'm not gonna, I want, I'm gonna buy a new car in the fall when the 24s come out. Hopefully the car situation will be better. This light is messed up, y'all. It's taking forever. There, it's finally changing. I'm just going back, but I'm only gonna go by, I'm only gonna be for a sec. I just, you know, I like giving feedback where it's deserved. These people did really well. I'm just gonna run in there and tell them how happy I am with the car. Uh, no, actually, I, I'm in a rush. Yep, that red one is still there. The red one I test drove is still there. No problem. Thanks for thanks for coming on. Just like I said, I know you guys support me. The cup was only four dollars. of Southern Air. <clears throat> We're 
We're just gonna run by the house real quick and pick up a UPS package. Actually, we can do that later. I don't want to drive Zach's car necessarily. I do like this cup. We'll see how long it keeps the drink cold. Cool though how it shows the cars around you. Look at that. You know the sad thing is, Zach's. Oh, uh, we've driven 400 and something miles in this car. Zach has only driven it once. I'm going to be driving this car more than Zach is because every time we go somewhere, I drive. Yeah, tomorrow we'll make a video of this car. We'll probably do it at the top of the parking garage, but we're going to put the car away. And then I need to run. Let me move out of this guy's way. I need to go run, so we're going to end the stream soon. But thank you for spending the past two hours with me. We're going to end when we get back to the apartment. I need to figure out what time I'm picking up Zach. We're going to go put the car away right now. done team treadmill in a while maybe i'll do one tonight if y'all want i might do a team treadmill workout this evening i haven't done one in a while but it's such a nice day i would love to go outside and run but if y'all want me to stream a team treadmill workout later on tonight i will Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go to the roller coaster on 5th Street. There's no way I can get over four lanes here. I love the power this car has. Roller coaster on 5th Street. K 
can't even see over the hood. This is insane, this road, y'all. It's a fun road. Look at that up ahead. It looks like it's almost straight up. Here we go. We and the roller coaster's over. I need to run on this road sometime. But do you guys? I'll do a team tread. If y'all will join me, I might do a team treadmill workout after I pick up Zach. Would y'all be interested in a team treadmill workout later on tonight? Because I haven't done any machine-based workouts in a while. I don't know if the chat's just not working or not, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll do a team treadmill workout tonight just for you guys. And I do enjoy them. We're going to put the car away. <coughs> You know how you make the light turn green? Pick up your cell phone. I'll turn off the radio so you can hear the backup in the garage. I hope the live stream quality has been good. I'm going to try swapping SIM cards on my phone and see if it makes a difference, just to test it. All right, we're putting the car away. I'll turn the radio off so you can hear it. Please proceed into the lot. There's my Hyundai. I'll take that spot right there. Listen. It sounds like a choir. Now this is where the backup camera is really neat. Watch this. I don't like this spot because it's too tight. Look, I can see how close I'm getting to the wall. See, look at that.
I'm in the spot, so that's good. I just hope no one bangs the door into the car. Listen. There we go, you heard it. All right, now we gotta get my stuff out of the car. Just bear with me for a minute. I'm gonna take a picture of the car so that I can see where it's parked. I got more room to go back and I'm gonna do just that. Straighten out the car a little bit too. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to put you, I might have to put you all under my arm while we're going across the street because my hands are gonna be full. I'm carrying two cups. <laughs> see here actually no i'll carry y'all in my hand this is not gonna be fun though uh, actually i might let's there we go now we're gonna go across the street there's the car watch the headlights turn off by themselves as i walk away from the car they'll turn off it's really neat They'll stay on for about 30 seconds. And there they go. Now we're going back to the apartment. And we're gonna hop off here in a minute when we get there, but. I gotta pee really bad when we get here. So we're gonna end when we get back to the apartment just so I can chill out for a little bit. But I really hope you've enjoyed being with me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed being with me because I have immensely enjoyed being with y'all. I mean, a lot. This has been wonderful. I'm sorry I haven't streamed in a while, but I've been dealing with my taxes. I've been working, dealing with getting that car, spending some time with Zach. But yeah, we're, like I said, the longest you'll have to go without a live stream is a few days at some times. And I did some early access videos for you guys, the members. I'll be doing more soon, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the early access videos. Please comment on them if you watch them, because I'm going to do another dump here. You might get three or four more tonight. So, but I really do love you guys immensely. So, yeah, thank you for joining me on this live stream where we, uh, Got Zach's car clean and stuff. We get in the building here. And we're going to the apartment. My gosh, look at this. Look at this. Look at all these packages here at the mailboxes. It's crazy. I'll tell you what, we're going to try something. We're going to try to ride the elevator and see if the live stream keeps. Let's see if we drop in here on the new network. I'm just going to try to ride the elevator and see what happens. Did we keep or did we drop? Did we drop or not? I don't know. I'm not getting a comment, so I'm thinking we may have dropped. Oh, it didn't drop. Cool. <coughs> Whoops, that dropped. I feel sorry for who gets in this elevator next.
just back home after an adventure to clean Zach's car. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love you guys. Um, we will do a team treadmill workout sometime later this evening. But thank you guys so much for the time you all spent with me. I love you guys with all my heart. You guys are amazing. Really, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So I got to go to the bathroom. So until next time, I love you all. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all.